A win tonight at Edmonton's in the conference final for the first time since 1992. I'm thinking live OTR from White Avenue about 1 a.m. if they win. You're good with that, Bob McGill. You're from Edmonton, yeah, right? That'd be a great time. From Leduc to South Edmonton, but uh, they're going crazy in Alberta right now. Welcome, uh, former defenseman for the Maple Leafs and a number of other teams and a stalwart on this show. Great to see you, man. Thanks, Ben. Ben's Antoine, welcome back to OTR. Your busy career has taken you all around North America. People can find out more from bensantoine.com. Good to see you, my friend. Nice to see you, man. Corey Grant, great to welcome you to the show. You're off to Saskatchewan's training camp in about, what, three hours? Uh, no, not till Friday <laughs> afternoon. Corey Grant, Saskatchewan Rough Riders receiver, welcome to OTR. And Kerry Goulet, you're the editor of Ice Hockey World magazine. Great to see you, and congratulations. You. That magazine's a big success. Thank you very much. So, pressure, it changes everything. How many of us said, I was a great driver. How come I failed my driver's test? <laughs> Tonight, the Sharks in the Oilers. Who's feeling the pressure more? If San Jose loses, they're done. If Edmonton loses, they need to play Game 7 on the road. There's 17,000 loonies, and you don't want to disappoint them. So, bottom line, who's feeling the most heat? I think the San Jose Sharks right now... And Joe Thornton have the biggest amount of pressure on them right now. You know, they won the first two games, had the series in total control. They lose that triple overtime game, game three. And the, it's been yeah. all Oilers since then. But Bob, you've been in Edmonton. You've seen the Rexall place. There's no question Edmonton has to live up to the hype now. And can they do it? I don't believe. I think the pressure that's inside that building with 17,000 loonies, are, they're not going yeah, to be able to sustain checked, that. The last time I checked, the team with their back against the walls, the team got the pressure on them. They don't even know who should be in goal for them. They don't know if it should no, be. No, Edmonton has the pressure on them. They have not only the whole of Edmonton with them, but they have a, now they got the country. Yep, they leave and they're, the, they're pushing for the country. To, the entire country now is going for this Canadian team to win, and they have well, all the pressure. The they're at home. It, it doesn't matter about the higher right. seed. It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't right matter. Now, it's, Edmonton it's, right now can't sleep. It's winning that fourth <laughs> game. And, Bob, you've been in the NHL. It's winning the fourth game. Yep. The fourth game is the most difficult game to win, and they're going to be under tremendous pressure yeah. tonight to do it at home because if they don't do it at they're home tonight, do it, they're no. done. Yeah, they, they are they, done. They do have pressure, but I think that, you know, the Sharks – you know, they are the higher seed, but realistically, it's the, the, the uh, fifth, and, or fifth and the eighth very seed. Very close. And it's very tight in the, in the standings during the regular season. And, you know, and I think Edmonton feels very comfortable being at home tonight in this sure. hockey game. But and I think that San Jose, obviously, they know that they've dropped the ball. There's a little controversy with their goaltending issue right now. Great. And I think that uh, the, the, the pressure is well, squarely who, on who, their shoulders. Okay, let me ask you a question. Did you pick Edmonton to beat San Jose at the beginning of the series? Did you pick them? Yes, I did, actually. And you? you picked them <laughs> no, too? I picked San Jose I to picked win. San Jose. I picked and San so Jose. That's what I'm, I'm telling you, San Jose is the ones with their back against the wall. They're the ones that got to make a so move. So they can go out and play loose and yeah, relax. Exactly. Because right and now, that's the, what they want the to do. pressure has actually changed. Yes. A couple of games ago, it looked like Edmonton had no chance. Now they have the chance. Right. They can close it off tonight. But we all know, in historical purposes, the fourth game is the toughest one to close. And I don't think that the Edmonton Oilers are prepared to close it tonight. And if they don't close it tonight, they're not winning a San Jose. And their Jose. fans will get right on top of them. If uh, San Jose and Cubs out and scores first, that building will just deflate and they will start to so feel that pressure that, right? on them. So you know that, right? Because you've, yeah, uh, you've been on the field. That home field can work for you, but it can yeah. also work against really, you, right? It can the work fear of making really a mistake quick. and letting people down. Yeah, yeah and that's what they feel. And it's true. If they go in and they score the first couple goals, it would be great. He's MVP tonight. Well, he has to do that. He's I mean, to. obviously, you know, I mean, that's the big knock against him. You know, he's a great guy. He's a laid-back guy. Regular season, he's been outstanding in the playoffs. He's always been kind of a, you know, kind of a flop because of the fact that he gets the pressure put on him, and, but, but he gets uh, well, we'll see all, you tonight. the I best think... checkers against him. And tonight on the road, Edmonton gets the last change, so it's going to be a little yeah. tougher and Joe, for him to fight I against think Joe the guys. Knows that. I think Joe is, is a capable, characteristic type of guy. I think he's going to step up tonight, and he's going to play his best game. And because Edmonton's the one that's under the pressure, mm -hmm. once Marlowe, Chichu, Ekman, I don't even know where Ekman's been, but if he lights it up tonight, Edmonton has absolutely no chance. Forget the goaltending tonight, because I think Joe Thornton is going to step up tonight. Let's talk about that goaltending. You each made reference to it. Vesa Toskala, poor, I think you could say, for the past two games. 11 goals, I think, on 49 shots. Toskala's a big reason why they are where they are. Ron Wilson says he's sticking with him. Is that a mistake? And would you take a shot with former star Evgeny Nabokov? I would. I'd put Nabokov in. Uh, you know what? He's been there. He's taken that team to the conference finals in 94 against Calgary. You know, took them all the way to, uh, to game six or game seven it was. And I just think that, uh, you know what, he can withstand that pressure. And I think that's the kind of injection almost that the San Jose Sharks need tonight to give them that little bit extra boost. 
they need a guy. Hold on, hold on. There was an interesting thing here. <laughs> Kerry Goulet, who kissed Bob McGill's ass several times early in this <laughs> vlog, you, me for you looked sakes. at him and you couldn't disagree with him. So I, you didn't say anything, I, right? Because you did not time. want to disagree with well, him. Well, because I just went, I can't go against what I, what I believe. You can't go against Bob. I said that Emery, at that crucial moment, it didn't win or lose the series. Obviously, the goal in overtime lost the series. You're talking he about Ottawa now. Yeah, he didn't challenge. And I think that Nabokov has been there, knows exactly what he needs to do to win the game tonight. So there's no question it that Nabokov is going to step up. You go with the goalie that's up. got them to this point right now. And so what you did like yesterday coach, is what you do today. You exactly. So You're I don't want to hear about what he did in 94. I want to hear about who's doing it now. And no, what he's has not to doing it right now. Toscalin has that, 11 goals in, I think it's 49 shots. And three he is losses. not performing. Right. You know what? It's time like to the change. Coach said, change the other, coach said on the TV the other day, he said that the players in front of him need to step up and start scoring goals and start playing harder in front of them. But you've got to keep the puck out of the net before you can move forward out of the net, those guys score as many goals well, as the next 11 team, and goals that's all right. and 49 shots at, at the NHL level is not keeping the red light and on. And the coach is showing confidence well, in the goalie that they have in the net right now. You don't stuff. just the make change because the tide is going. The tide is going against you. You got to make a move. You can't just sit He's down. You got to go out swinging. If you guys are making out, changes to make changes, you can't sit on your hands. You can't sit on your hands. He's a proven veteran. He's been there. He's 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 been in the playoffs. He knows what it takes to win a 22 year old goal. Has he played yet in this playoffs? Doesn't need to. He doesn't need to. He can just go in and this. No, but things are going bad. It's going to get worse. They're already bad. Things are bad right now. Things aren't bad. Still and they got a game in there, tonight. You know, put the pressure on him to, you know, show what he's really made Absolutely. up. Absolutely, step and up. All you got to do is win one game. On that note, we go to break as we're going to break. Tell me about the, your relationship to the Indy 500. Well, I'm uh, involved with Marty Roth, Roth Racing. We're down at the Indy 500 right now in Indianapolis all last week rain, so we didn't get any qualifications. And I'm flying out tomorrow. He's going to qualify this Saturday for the Indy 500, and he's the only Canadian driver this year at the Indy 500. Good luck with that. Thank you very as much. As we go to break. Hey, don't forget the podcast, right? Cannot forget about the podcast. Go to tsn.ca and download. It's fresh OTR chat material every day. And let's face it, we all know Kerry Goulet, you're going there tonight. More OTR in a moment.